Thanks for watching. If you're a DXF user and you use Mosaic software, you already know Mosaic absolutely despises DXFs. <laughs>
types of layers attributed to tool paths and then outline. So I want to get rid of that. I don't need it. All I want is this. All I want is the layers. So then I'm going to go back to import vectors and I'm going to bring in my vector DXF that I want to import into Mosaic. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight it and I'm going to move it to the middle of my workspace. The next thing I want to do is I want to move the position of it relative to this bottom left corner to zero, zero. This is important because Mosaic will automatically slap, uh, snap the part into the corner of the part editor, editor, but it will not do that for the tool paths. This line right here would be representative of a tool path. We don't want to have that as an outline. We just want this as a tool path. So if I import this with the uh, DXF positioned over here, Mosaic will read it in and your, your outline will be over here, but your tool path will be over here. So if you have that issue, that means that you didn't, you skipped this step. You have to uh, select the entire part that you're moving. If you just have an outline, it doesn't matter. But if you have tool paths, you have to do this part. Move this to zero, zero, into the left, the bottom left corner, apply. So now our part is in the bottom left corner. That's the first step. The next step is to map these layers to the different operations that you have going on here. So for me, I have an outline that I'm worried about. I'm going to select my outline, uh, right click, and then I'm gonna move to layer outline. And it's not visible, so I'm gonna turn it back on. I'm gonna select my inside cutout. I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna to move to layer tool path. Now, if you have a groove and you wanna map the groove to that line, you're gonna map it to groove. Otherwise, you're gonna use line bore. H bore is not really relevant. Uh, v bore, you may have drill holes that you want to locate as a drill hole. So you're gonna map them to this V bore right here. So for this part specifically, that's all we got to, that's all we have to map. Now I'm gonna hit file, export. You have to select the file first or select what you want to export first, sorry. So select it, export to DXF, and then I'm going to save this as, as what? Let's call it mapped DXF. Well, let's just call it mapped file. Okay, save. That's all we need from vCarve. We can now minimize that. I'm now gonna go to Mosaic. So I have my part, one single part, double click. I want to edit shape, DXF in. And then I'm gonna to go to my same folder that I've been working out of. And I'm gonna select my mapped file. I'm gonna click okay. It's in inches. So as you can see, I've now imported my DXF with radiuses, points mapped properly, and my tool path in the right spot. That does not mean we're done. The next thing that we have to do is we need to select. So I want a screenshot of this window because this and this are very important. We don't have to take a screenshot. You can also have like a little text window where you copy that. And maybe that's what I'll do on the other screen here. I'll just copy that. And then I'll copy this number because these two are very important for it to scale properly. Okay, alternatively, you can hit Windows Shift and S, the letter S on the keyboard, and it'll highlight, it'll give you a way to highlight a certain part of the screen. And then you'll be able to have a screenshot of that little space. That's a secondary option. Okay, so I'm gonna cancel that. 
So now I'm done in here for right now. Actually, I'm not done in here, but I'll come back in after. So I'm going to click OK. I'm going to click OK again. Then I have to go to my uh, my width and height right here, and we have to plug these numbers in right here. And just make sure you're doing it in the right orientation so that you don't mess up your scale. Okay, depth really could just be or five, we'll say three quarter. Okay, so we have our exterior of our part. It's rotated because of the way that it's a back brings it in, but that's okay, it doesn't matter. You can see here we have no toolpath assigned for our toolpath that's in, in there. So we need to set that. So we're gonna go double click this back. We're gonna go edit operations. And we st we, we're back in here with our toolpath. So this was brought in with that DXF because we mapped it. So next we have to select the whole tool, all the toolpath. You don't have to select the whole thing. You just really have to select one line. And if you want to set the depth, you select a point. So if I'm going to select set the depth, I'm going to go, I'm going to use the calculator here and I'm going to set it at, uh, we're going to go back, uh, uback dot th. Click OK. So as you can see, now it's going the proper depth. I'm going to select my tool. I'm going to use the 3 8 compression. And then because this is referencing from the center of the tool, I want to offset it in. It's a 3 8 tool, so I'm going to offset it minus 3 16 And that pushes that whole tool path inwards, 3 16 so that your, uh, your tool is in the proper position when it cuts this out. So I'm going to click OK. OK, so that's pretty much it for your DXF part. The next thing you might want to do is hit this little high detail button. You can see that this one brought this part in mirrored uh, across the vertical axis. Let's just click OK so you can see. So you might want to you might want to check uh, your or rotate or mirror your VCAR file based on how you want it to import into Mosaic. But for the most part, it it, it pretty much works as expected. Um, Mosaic, like I said, Mosaic is very fussy with this DXF. So this is the closest um, I think that you can get to having it work as intended. So best of luck out there and uh, thanks for watching this video. If you haven't checked it out already, check out our Millwork Scanner app that we have in the App Store. It's saved me so much time over the, over the last six months that I've been using it. Check it out. It's available. Uh, we're charging $19.99 US per month. And I think that's quite reasonable based on how much time you're going to save yourself. And we have a lot of upgrades planned for it. Thank you for everyone that's supporting us currently with it. And we look forward to shooting out some awesome updates. We'll talk soon. Have a great one. If you're eager to dive deeper into Mosaic, enhance your shop, or explore the possibilities with CNC routers and 3D printing, you're in the right place. Your feedback drives our content, so subscribe to stay updated with the latest tutorials and tips. Watch out for our next video.